Blessings and welcome everyone to our Monday night spiritual warfare. We welcome you this evening and we love you even more so. Jesus loves you. And this evening we want to talk about, we don't want to talk from the, the book of Ezekiel this evening. I want, about to, I want to talk from the book of Ezekiel. Before we get into it, I'd like to introduce everybody. My name is Pastor Catherine from Chapel of Change Dallas, and I have here with me a uh, brother Danny, a uh, prayer warrior. So this evening we're reading out of Ezekiel 37, and it says, The hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. What is the hand of the Lord? The hand of the Lord is the glory. It's the manifest presence of God. So the hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out. So the, Lord, the hand of the Lord, the glory and the manifest presence came upon Ezekiel and brought him out of what? Out of the flesh. It brought him out of the flesh and it says it brought me out in the, in the, in the spirit of the Lord. So it brought him out of the flesh and took him into the spiritual realm with the Lord himself. It says, he sent me down in the midst of a valley. See, the Lord will be there even in your darkest times, even the hardest times. The Lord will be with you even through your hardest valleys. Even though through those hardest trials and tribulations, the Lord is walking beside you, guiding you through everything. He never leaves you. And his word even promises us that he will never leave us nor forsake us. And it says it was full of bones. So this valley that the Lord had him walk through is full full of bones. These are spiritually dry bones. Verse two says, then he caused me to pass by them all around. So he's walking through this valley and there's bones everywhere. How would you feel if, if you walked, how do you feel when you walk into a spiritually dry room? What would you think if you were walking through a valley and it's just full of bones? To me, honestly, that would be a little uncomfortable because we're so used to being in the, when we're so used to being in his presence. It's that water. It's that dew or that morning dew that he gives to us that we crave and we thirst for as his word says, as a deer pants after water. And so when we're walking through a spiritually dry place, it's a heavy weight upon us, upon our spirits. It says there were many in the open valley. And indeed, they were very dry. So not only were these dry bones spiritually dry, but they were very dry. That, and that talks of a lack, a lack of the spiritual water that would bring the life into them and keep them sustained. And he said to me, so this is God speaking to Ezekiel. He said, son of man, can these bones live? So even though God knows all, he still wants our input. He's still asking for our input. And Ezekiel said, so I answered, oh, Lord God, you know. Oh, Lord God, you know. So our answer to him, the one who knows all, the one who is everywhere, the one who holds everything in his hands is you know all. And we give it to him. It says, and he said to me, prophesy to these bones. So now the Lord wants to use Ezekiel to speak his word. It says, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. How powerful is that word? In Genesis, it says the Lord spoke. The word of the Lord went forth and creation came into being. Even Apostle Paul tells us that the power of the tongue, that there is power in the tongue of life and of death. So we know, we know that there is power in words. And when the power of the Lord is behind those words, when the power of the Lord is behind those words, those words are unstoppable. Verse 5 tells us, thus says the Lord God to these bones. So now the Lord is using Ezekiel to prophesy to these bones and speak into them. And it says, surely I will cause breath to enter into you. So this is that spiritual life, that spiritual water, that breath of life. God is saying, I will breathe it into you. I will have it enter into you. And it says, I will put sinews on you. 
and bring flesh upon you. That's like when we first get into his presence, that first thing in the morning, when we come into his presence and we're praying to him and he brings us that refreshing. It's a refreshing uh, moment. It's a refreshment for your soul. It says, I will cover you with skin and put breath in you. So this is him building us up in the spirit as we continue to pray to him, as we continue to press into him. He is covering us with all the layers, the spiritual layers. He's put the sinew back on our spiritually dry bones. And then he puts he puts the muscles back on. He puts the skin back on. He puts breath into our dry bones and brings us back to life. And it says, I will put breath in you and you shall live. You shall live in the glory of the Lord, in the might of his hand. It says, then you shall know that I am Lord. You shall know that I am Lord. He is Lord over all things. He's Lord in all things. He's Lord of our lives. He's Lord of our hearts. So this evening, as we come into prayer, let us remember who he is to us and what he has done for us, what he has done through us. So, Father God, we come before you and we thank you, Father, for all that you do and all that you've done. Father God, we pray, Father, for more of your presence, more of your grace to be upon us. We pray, Father, that your hand would be upon your saints, your glory, your manifest presence would be upon their lives, Father God. We pray, Father, for more of the moving of your spirit, Father God through them and in them. We pray that you would continually, Father, bring us out of the flesh. Take us out of our flesh, Father, and bring us into your spirit, Father God. Daily, Father, hourly, Father God, even by the second, Father, bring us back into your spirit, Father God, and let us, Father, fall in line with your will for our lives, Father. This evening, Father God, we know that you walk through, we, you walk with us through even the darkest of valleys. For the, your word even tells us that even though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Father, you are our comforter. Your word tells us that you guide us. You guide us along peaceful streams and you make us to lay down in green meadows, Father God. You let us, Father, rest in your embrace, Father, and this evening, Father God. This evening, Father God, we pray, Father, for more of who you are, more of what you have in store for us, Father God, in all things. Father, we pray, Father, that you would continue, continue to pour out your water upon your people, Father God, and build us up in your embrace, build us up in your presence, build us up, Father God, in your spirit, Father. So that, Father God, in all things we may walk in the confidence that you have gone before us, in the confidence knowing that you are always with us, Father God. You have never left us. You have never forsaken us, Father God. And we proclaim this evening that our dry bones will come to life through the speaking of your word, through the glory manifest of your presence, Father God. And we thank you for all those, Father, all those who are watching, all those who will watch this. And we proclaim, Father God, your glory, your presence, Father God, your life be breathed into them anew. A refreshing, Father, come into their spirits, Father God, and lift them on high as your word says that you will, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day, Father God. We thank you for the love that you have for us, Father God. Without that love, Father God, we would we would be nothing, Father God. We would still be dead in sin, Father God, if not for your endless love for us, Father God. We thank you for your mercy on us, Father God. Yes. Your mercies are new every day, Father God. And again, it is one of those things that we would not make it without, Father God. Yes. <clears throat> I thank you for picking us up, Father God. I thank you for resurrecting and restoring things in our lives, Father God. I know that you've done so in my life, Father. And I pray that anybody who is in need of something being restored or revived in their life, Father God, I pray that you move powerfully in that, Father God.
that you bring those dry bones to life, Father God, that you that you raise them up with your mighty right hand, Father God, your righteous right hand, Father God. Father God, we just ask you to cover your people, Father God. We ask you to speak to your people, Father God. Yes. Slow us down, Father God, so we shall listen, Father God. Because you are always speaking, Father God. We are just not always hearing, Father God. I just ask that you slow us down, Father God, and remove all other voices, Father God, so we can hear the voice of the one true God through the mighty Holy Spirit. Yes. And let that your spirit guide and direct us, Father God. Let it show us your will for our life, Father God, not our own will, Father God. Encourage us and give us the desire for our lives in every area to be living sacrifices to your glory, Father God. That is how we can worship you, Father God, in action, Father God. It is great to worship you in song, Father God. It is great to worship you in dance, Father God. But the best definition of worship, Father God, is our obedience and our sacrifice to you, Father God, and for your plan for our life. As Jeremiah 29, 11 says that you know the plans that you have for us, Father God. And let us heed our plans to your plans, Father God. Father God, I just ask you to cover our communities right now, Father God, under this freeze. Father God, I pray that the homeless get to shelters, Father God, or places where they are warm, Father God. I pray, pray that all the elderly, Father God, are taken care of, Father God. I pray that their, their family and their friends, Father God, reach out to them. Show them love, Father God, and let them know that they are not alone, Father God. I ask you to cover those who may be homeless, Father God, the homeless children and mothers, Father God, people sleeping in their cars, Father God. I pray that you cover them in this weather, Father God. I pray that you, you provide warmth for them, Father God, your spiritual warmth, Father God, and actual warmth on this night, Father God. Father God, I pray for our communities of Dallas and Fort Worth, Father God. I pray against any division in these communities, Father God. I pray against any enemy strongholds that may be in these communities, Father God. I break them right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. I pray your Holy Spirit and your peace over schools, Father God, daycares, Father God, and hospitals, Father God. For those that may be lay, laying sick, Father God, those that may be laying injured, Father God, let your spirit run through these hospitals, Father God, and strengthen the staff that is caring for these people, Father God, and comfort those who are in those places, Father God. Encourage them with your mighty love, Father God, your mighty compassion that only you can provide, Father God. Father God, I just thank you for this day, Father God. I thank you that you love your people so much, Father God, that you sent your son, Father God, to the hill on Calvary, Father God, to bleed on an old oak, Father God, so that we may have a reconnected, reconfirmed relationship in right standing with you, Father. We thank you, Father God. It's in your mighty, mighty name that we pray. Amen. Yes, thank you, Father God, for all that you do and all that you've done. We pray, Father God, that every prayer request, every petition that was lift, lifted up this evening, Father, that you would hear it, Father God. We pray that you would hear our hearts cry for your word says that you lend your ear, Father. We pray, Father, for more of your spirit, more of your grace, Father God, more of you to permeate our hearts, our spirits, our homes, Father God our workspaces and places, our schools. Father, we pray, Father, that your fire, your presence manifest would be felt everywhere we go, Father God. We pray, Father, just as your word tells us that your grace and your mercy follow after us all the days of our lives, Father God, that you would continue to shout, to show us, Father, Show through us, Father God, your grace to others, those who are still searching, those who are still lost, Father God. Reveal your glory, reveal your grace to them, Father, through our lives, Father God, that they may know, Father, that God that we serve is real, Father, and that they may desire that living water. They may be, as your word says, a deer panteth after water, so we panteth after your spirit, Father God. Let them become that spirit spiritually hungry and thirsty soul that seeks after you every day, Father God.
And let us become deep into prayer with you, Father God, deeper, Father God, every day that we may seek more of you, more of your presence, Father God. And we pray, Father, that a blessing of the hand of your glory be upon each of your people this morning, this evening, Father God, and all the days, Father God. We thank you for all that you do in and through us, Father. We praise you, Father God, for where you have us now and where you're about to take us, Father God. And Father, we worship you. We worship you for all that you have blessed us with, Father God, and all the things that you have put in front of us, all the things that have helped us grow into the people we are now, Father God. We worship you. We thank you. We praise you, Father. In Jesus' mighty, powerful name, say amen. 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 So we thank you, everyone, for joining us this evening. We we ask this evening that uh, you come back and join us next Monday at 6.30 p.m. for another Monday Night Spiritual Warfare. If you have any prayer requests, we ask that you leave them in the comments. If it's more of a private nature, you can send us a direct message, and we will pray with you one-on-one. We also ask that you continue to not only share this, but speak the word of God and spread his glory manifest wherever we go. So we love you. We love you. We love you, saints. Even more so, Jesus loves you. God bless and have a wonderful rest of your Monday night.